Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video I will be restoring a Corgi number 443, the Plymouth Sports Suburban. This is the US male model. These were produced from 1963 until 1966. I've bought a few of these corgis recently and I'm really liking them. They're similar to the Matchbox king sized models and they released lots of really cool ones. They are a little bit more expensive than the Matchbox models to buy. I've seen this particular US male model selling with a box for over £100. So let's take a closer look at it off of the turntable. We can see that the paint is fairly chipped and worn. The decals on the front door are completely missing and the other decals are fairly worn out. A reasonably a scruffy paint job on the grill there. Luckily the windscreen and the wheels are in great condition. Also the interior looks to be in great condition as well. Unfortunately there isn't a wiki or anything for Corgi toys so it's hard to find any specific information on this model. I notice on the box art it does say by special request. I'm not sure if that was something particular to this model. Hopefully some enthusiasts out there can give us more information in the comments section. So the first step is to drill out the rivets and take the car apart. After measuring the decals and colour matching the blue paint, I used some poly stripper to strip the paint from the casting. I clean up the oxidation and any remaining paint with a wire brush on my rotary tool. Something about these Corgi castings, I just think they are super cool. I drill and tap the rivet posts using a 1.7mm drill and a 256 tap. With the body cleaned and the rivet post tapped, I give the car a couple of coats of white paint.
This was placed to cure over my nice warm fireplace for a few hours and then I masked off the top section and painted the rest of the car in the blue paint that I had colour matched earlier. Next I detailed the grille and bumpers in Tamiya Chrome Silver. This is actually definitely an upgrade from the scruffy paint job that it had originally. I wonder how many grills the worker painted in a day. Hey up, Gladys. Good day at work. Oh, I were painting grills again! I've made some replacement decals. I've had to slightly change the decal scheme from what they originally had to deal with the fact that I can't print white. Originally the small badge and the yellow US mail writing were together on the same decal and they went over the red stripe. I think the red stripe was originally painted on but I've made the red stripe out of a decal I've added the yellow writing to the red stripe and made the badge separately so that I could cut it out and have a white center. And always remember to address your mail carefully. Once these had dried, I applied some micro sole to the red stripe and the door decal to help them adhere to the shape of the casting. Now onto the base, I first mask off the wheels, then apply some poly stripper to remove the paint. The casting is given a clean up with the wire brush. I give the axles a bit of a shine with some emery paper. And then I repaint the base grey and give it a coat of clear. The interior and the windscreen luckily are in great condition, they just have a little bit of dirt on them. Note how this interior is incredibly flimsy, it's not really cast, it's just like a vacuum formed piece of packaging plastic. All I do to these interior parts is give them a wash in some soapy water. So here are all our parts refurbished and repainted and ready to go back together. It was simple to put back together and held in place with the screws. 
So before we take a look at our finished restoration, let's be reminded of what we started with. A heavily play-worn example of a Corgi Plymouth Sports Suburban with chipped worn-out paint and missing decals. Thankfully the windows, interior and wheels were still in great condition so it wasn't a complete die-cast disaster and an excellent candidate for a restoration. And here it is, our fully restored Corgi number 443, the Plymouth Sports Suburban US Mail Car. With its nice clean new paint job and US Mail badges, it's back in shape to go out delivering those important letters and bills. This has definitely been one of my favourite actual restorations to do so far and I will for sure be doing some more of these Corgi cars in the future. I'd say this is one of the more expensive cars I've worked on. I definitely paid more for it than I usually do so it was very satisfying to bring it back to a nice original condition. So while our Plymouth heads off on its mail rounds, I'll take a moment to welcome all of my new subscribers and say a huge thanks to everyone for all of the great comments and likes on my videos. Thanks heaps. I'd also like to say an extra big thanks to my Patreon supporters. If you'd like to help support the channel and get a shout out at the end of the videos, you can check out my Patreon page, there'll be a link in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video, please like, share, and subscribe.